Hey guys, and welcome to freepcfixdepot.com uh, Website where you can come here to just follow simple steps to clean up, tune up, and fix your computer of any viruses and trojans and uh, just to tune it up and speed it up. Anyhow, we're going to talk about how to install mal Malwarebytes and uh, how to use it. Just the basic features. It's a very good program. It's free. And it'll get the job done, especially in getting rid of Trojans and spyware and malware. Especially those fake antivirus that's been popping up uh, for a while these days. One of the more po popular ones. But anyhow, if you go to my site, free PC. Uh, fixdepot.com you get to this front home page and in under my recommended software you can find Malwarebytes link go ahead and click on that uh, I've already clicked on it, it will take you here and you can go ahead and download the free version um, or and I already have it downloaded here so we'll go ahead and just launch it you can go ahead and run it straight from the website once you download it or you can just save it on your desktop whatever you want to do so we're going to go ahead and run it English uh, choose English hit next and go ahead and accept agreement and hit next and just next pretty much all the way through you can you know pick a path wherever you want to put it just, I'll leave it as default um, just next create a desktop icon next and install so that's very simple uh, it's always good to update Malwarebytes from the beginning and uh, so we'll go ahead and leave these checked and hit finish. Just go ahead and download the latest update and install it. Now once it launches, you're basically just going to be in um, probably update, scanner, and maybe quarantine. Uh, I really don't care too much about these logs. So you'll see the log uh, once the scan finishes. And after that, there's really no reason to go back to it. So basically, you'll stay in the scanner and update tab. I really never had to use these other ones. But anyways, when you first launch Malwarebytes, it's always good to update first. Um, we've already updated here already, but let's say you've been using it for a while and um, it's been a couple weeks and you want to go ahead and scan your computer or if you're in the process of fixing your computer, um, go ahead and update first. So go to update, check for updates, and let it update. Uh, I have the latest version, so it's not going to say anything here. But if it, if uh, you do have an older uh, database version, it will download it and update it. Once you update it, go to scanner. Uh, there's three options, quick scan, full scan, and flash scan. Flash scan. Quick scan is basically where you just want to be. Um, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm using quick scan and it gets the job done. You can perform a full scan if you really want to do a thorough job and just check every single file folder, um, but this takes a long time. Flash scan, I've honestly never used. It's for people who purchase the software and maybe one day I'll buy it and check, try it out. So anyhow, we'll stick with uh, perform a quick scan and then we will scan. Depending on how big your uh, hard drive is and how much data you have this may take a while um, for me it takes about 10 minutes um, but you know it all depends on each individual's computer so um, uh, we'll just let this go and I'll just pause it for now and then when I come back it should be finished so uh, I'll let this go ahead and scan okay so the scan has completed and right now mine shows that uh, the scan has completed successfully no malicious mal no malicious items were detected this is probably because I scanned this previously and cleaned out all the junk I had on there but um, just to show you what it looks like I found a screenshot of what it should look like once this completes well uh, uh, saying that um, I mean if you don't have anything obviously you're gonna get this message but if you do have uh, infections, you're going to see something like this here. So you would see everything in red, all the, you know, Trojans and, and infections and whatever you would have. You'd see it all in here. And what you would do is you would click re remove selected. Once you click that, it will uh, 
clear everything out and once it clears everything out you should get a log file after that and basically you're finished and you can exit the program so uh, that's pretty much it um, uh, that's how you use malware bytes that's pretty much all you're gonna do stay on the scanner tab uh, here and probably just update and it's good to run this once a week or once every uh, two weeks or something like that or whenever you feel you're feeling sluggish or part of your routine maintenance it's always good to run this so um, I highly recommend this product and if you have any questions feel free to send me an email leave me a comment or you know you can ask me any questions I'll be happy to help you out uh, free of charge thank you